What we're doing here is we're machining a uh, one of our DCI uh, Ram Air 5 intake bases for uh, fuel injectors. Uh, this intake base is for uh, Evan Perkins. Um, he's going to do a uh, dyno session with a set of our five heads and uh, uh, fuel injection, port fuel injection on his engine. So we're getting this set up so that we can uh, get the injectors installed in this. The next thing we'll do is we'll make the fuel rails uh, that go on the intake manifold so that uh, we can get fuel to the injectors, obviously. He's using a little different style injector than what we normally use. I don't see it laying here anywhere, but uh, it's a um, bigger injector. We use a smaller type injector. We're a little bit concerned that uh, maybe the fuel rail might get too close to the uh, throttle linkage on the throttle body. So we'll see. We're going to get it all set up and then we'll put the fuel rail on and put the top plate on this thing and see where, we, where it lands at. What we do, the first part of the procedure is, is we got to get the uh, uh, fuel injector pads all the same height because this is a casting. So what we do is we go in and we machine all the tops of these uh, pads to get the height right. And then once we do that, then we come back with uh, different end mills. I don't know if Brandon's got any laying here. They're over here on this side. There's one of them. So anyhow, we change out the end, mill, end mills and uh, put the appropriate size holes. It's, uh, and then we have to bevel the edge of this so it doesn't tear the oil O-ring up on it. And we do this all on our uh, bridge port. We got a, uh, a manual uh, bridge port here. It's got digital readout on it, but uh, all the controls on it are manual. They're not CNC, so uh, we can control this a little bit better because it's not really a precise thing we're doing here. It's kind of custom for each application. So now that we have all the pads adjusted to the proper height, then uh, we will change the uh, tool out, put a different end mill in there, and uh, we can start making the holes for the uh, fuel injector itself. And then of course we have a tool that <clears throat> we step that with, and then we also put a, uh, a beveled edge in there, like I was saying earlier, so it doesn't tear the O-ring on the injector when you push it into the intake manifold. And the injector fits in there really tight. It's not something that um, uh, is real loose. You don't want an air leak there, so it has to be fairly snug. So we use a, uh, I believe, what is it, a 550 end mill on this? 530. 530 end mill, and the uh, outside diameter of the O-ring is what, 8 About or five, 570? 575, Yeah, so somewhere around 570 to 580. So. so it compresses the O-ring and makes a nice tug tight, snug fit whenever uh, the injector's in the intake manifold. <clears throat> if I can get over here to the other side and you can have a look inside here, you can see up inside of it where the injector comes down through. We've got a vein in our intake manifold, so that uh, we have to be careful that we try to line that up just right so that it'll spray around that vein. As you can see, my intake plenum is pretty good size, but we have, <coughs> have a stuffer we stick in it. Sorry about my <coughs> voice, I'm getting over a cold, but anyways, we uh, put a stuffer in there to help divert the air, and it's got ribs on it so that it uh, uh, will trap any sus unsuspended fuel, and then the air will pick it back up and uh, atomize it again and burn it. So now he's going to drill a pilot hole. And this is kind of a little bit of a guessing game for us. Uh, we do have numbers that we go by, but yeah, these are castings, so not all of them are the same. So we have to kind of eyeball it, try to get it as close as we can and adjust it accordingly.
This side here is completed. That's pretty much the way that they look when they're all done before we put the injectors in there. Our next <clears throat> process, what we'll do is we'll show you the uh, how we make the fuel rails. We start with a blank, and uh, once we uh, get that set up in the machine, then we go ahead and uh, match the holes in the uh, uh, fuel rails to the holes in the intake manifold, and then that way the fuel rails pop down right over top the tops of the injectors. <clears throat> 